more and more control. But at the beginning, yes, he got them all close. He got even. Hey guys. Okay, here's another. This is uh, a little bit further back before I uh, was just learning about the ETs. So, I don't know where this happened when I was uh, 11, 12, 13, 14, I think. I was 14 years old, Chatham, Ontario. And uh, one night, <clears throat> just to let you know, Dots all over my glasses. Okay, there. I hate them dots on my lens. Jesus, I piss me off. So, one night I go to bed. I'm laying there and I'm agitated. And I forgot everything that happened to me earlier. Really, that's this is where I was. It was a little earlier than where I am on this playlist. And I had forgotten about the ETs coming up to my face and I'm afraid and I pass out. I forget all about that. So one night they come back and they do it again. Okay. I'm, I am uh, I go to bed. I'm going to do it. I'm going to say this fast just for the sake of it. I'm uh, I, say this? I feel agitated and I can't sleep. I get up. I go to the bathroom again. And I come back to bed. And I'm still agitated. And I'm driving me nuts. And all of a sudden I get these pinpricks all over me. And it's about midnight. One o'clock. And I'm laying there. And the pinpricks are happening. I look for fleas. And I'm like, I remember doing this. I remember this. I remember. And I'm going, what the hell is going on? right? And then I start getting these waves of heat from my toes to my head. And the waves of heat are coming up. They're coming up, and they start going faster and faster. Then, in my mind's eye, when I close my eyes, I see colors swirling around. Then, uh, some time goes by, the pinpricks are faster, just more of them. The heat waves, like they're hot, like literally, you can you can see it. It's like a, it's like some kind of scanner coming up your body, but it's from inside your soul, and uh, almost like a machine was doing it. Can't say it was. This what it was like. Waves of energy. Whoosh, from my feet to my head. Hot. And um, I'm like, fuck, I poisoned myself. And, I, and I'm like, oh no, I poisoned myself. I'm going to die, right? And I'm all freaking out thinking I poisoned myself. Thinking about the coffee and thinking about the sugar. And thinking, no, that wasn't it. That wasn't it. What did I eat that poisoned myself? And that's what I thought. I, I really thought I poisoned myself. And, um... Then, in my mind's eye, the colors are swirling. They get really bright. I go, get pastel colors, or not even pastel, the primary colors, all swirling around. Okay? And then, like, bright. And um, then, this time, a white, I think I remember a white light, and it was really bright. And it was so fucking bright that I couldn't look. I couldn't look at it. Because the colors turn into white. So you get all your primary colors, which is interesting, and then it turns to white, which is all the primary colors are a white light, right? Boom! That's interesting. And the white light, and I'm like, it's so bright. It's like, and it's in my head. It's not external. Because I open my eyes and I can still see it, but it's in my head. Third eye thing. Then, and I'm trying, I turn my head to try to block it, and I'm squinting my eyes because it's so bright, but it's in my head, so I can't ever get away from it, right? You know what I mean? It's like wherever I look, but I, my eyes are closed, and I can't get rid of it. I'm like, Jesus Christ. And then, the waves of tingles are coming, the waves of tingles are going faster, and um, the ringing, the sound of crickets in my head, it started off really mild, mellow, and there's a sound of ringing crickets in my head, like a field of crickets and frogs, crickets and frogs, right, that sound, that's what it sounds like, but it got, it started off with Morse codes and a ringing, and then it got louder and louder and louder, and then there was a sound of these 
feel the crickets and frogs, right? And it got louder and louder and louder. And now I got Morse code ringing in the field of crickets all in my head. Well, white light, which then the white light turns into like I'm watching a reality TV or a, you know, them goggle things you put on your head now and play video games. That whatever that's called, I forgot. But I'm looking at pictures from all over the world, places I've never been. And I'm looking at them from positions that are interesting, like up high in the sky, looking down at a city, or in old Nazi. I remember I was looking at, a, at an, I was in a room, and it was Nazi paraphernalia, a Nazi flag on the wall. It was old and wooden, and there was a chair and a desk, and there, that was it. I remember that one. And I'm like, what the fuck am I seeing Nazi shit for? And I'm seeing all this stuff, right? Aimless, useless stuff makes there's no correlation from one picture to another. It's just random. In my head, and I'm seeing it flash, 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 like that. And uh, I remember the Eiffel Tower one. I'm, I think I mentioned that before. I don't know the time I see it. There was just thousands of them. A chair back in the old days. Uh, people walking in England. People walking in China. People walk, you know. A street on China. It's stupid fucking shit you never think of. You would never think of it. But I'm seeing it. And they're just flashes. And I'm like, oh, oh. Some things I, I recognize, some things I don't. And uh, as I'm watching that, next thing I know, I'm flying over a nuked landscape, like always. Burnt dead trees, black sticks sticking out of the ground, amongst burning cars and buildings. And the sky is polluted shit color. And I'm flying through the fucking, like in a jet. But it's real. I'm not on a TV screen. It's like real. My whole brain is like flying over. And then, all of a sudden, my attention goes to, my attention goes from my heart. And my heart's pounding. And I'm sweating. Okay, just to let you know. So now I got the Morse code, the ringing, the field of crickets. And I'm flying over the landscape. I got the waves going vroom, 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 like this. And um, the pinpricks and everything's coming to a max. And my whole body's freaking, my heart's going like that. And I can feel my ribs. And then I start crying because I poisoned myself. I start crying. I'm like, oh, fuck, I'm going to die. And literally, you, it feels like you're going to die. And all of a sudden, you just feel like you got to die. And you're telling yourself, die, just kill yourself, just let it go, just die, fuck it. Dying is better than this. That's what it felt like, it felt like just die, die, which represent, rep, which the feeling of death, as you know, is change. When you feel death, it's change. And also, death is a new beginning. But I didn't know any of that. I just felt like I was going to die. So, my attention goes to my heart, because my heart is pounding so fucking hard. And my attention is on my heart, and I'm looking at it, and I'm literally seeing it. And my ribs and everything. And all of a sudden, I went from that up, and my attention went up, and Buddy is coming right into my face from the ceiling down. Now... I'm like, oh, fuck, I know you, right? And I'm like, no fucking way. Bam! And I lock down just boosh, all my chakras. I just close up tight, fucking grab a machine gun, and I'm just, well, not really, but I'm, that's the attitude I took. And I'm blocking. I'm like, you're not coming in, right? And he comes up to me, and he's staring like this. Right in your face. Right in your face, man. And it's like a, it's like a, the feeling is like a, intense white staring right in your head like, and in your throat and in your heart and these all his chakras are aligned with mine i didn't know it at the time but he's all aligned with me and i got all my clothes and he's pushing with his into me and i'm fighting i'm fighting like what do you gotta do is that all you got motherfucker <laughs> I, I called him every name in a book and i scream and just like you wouldn't believe, right? And all of a sudden, I'm like, he pushes a little bit, and I remember he pushed, and I'm like, is that all you got? 
<clears throat> and you ain't coming, and you're never fucking gonna get me. Blah 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 blah. blah. And as I'm screaming and yelling, he went, "I'm tired." I felt his expression. His was like, "I'm tired of this," and he just went right into me, cracked me. And I, as soon as he came in, I'm like, I passed out. So, as I pass out, I don't know how long I was out. I wake up right where I left off. <laughs> And the chaos and him staring at my face and he's backing out. And as he's backing out, he's backing out. And I shift. My I, I I'm one minute, I'm in my body, looking at him back out. Next thing I know, I'm right at his face again. And then I, I'm back in my body, and then I'm right at his face, and then I'm back, and I tell myself, fucking stay in fucking stay here. Right? And but it don't work. It works. I mean he backs into the ship. And then as soon as I see the ship. The UFO, a disc with a couple little round things on the bottom. As soon as I see the ship, I'm whoop, I'm in the ship with him, and he's sitting in a chair. And I'm looking at him. He's sitting in the chair, and there's a couple other guys. There's one guy here beside him, beside him. And there's two other guys over there on control panels and things. Not panels like we know, but more like they're they're. The wall came down like one piece. There were panels, and they were just. Sitting in chairs, going, doing their thing. I don't know. And then I'm back in my bed. And then, boom, I'm back. Boom. Now, the clothes they had on, they were all beige and wrinkly. They all looked a little different, but more or less the same. They were all beige. Some had more wrinkles, some had less. And they had beige clothes on. And on the beige clothes had black lines. Pinstripe lines. Like pen straight lines and they all went all over the place and it meant something on the walls of the craft there were black pin straight lines okay and on some little areas there was uh, weird Sanskrit writing I don't know what it was but there was more or less black pin straight lines all over the walls of this craft and it drove me nuts because I didn't I knew it meant something but I didn't know what it was and I'm back in my body and I'm back to him finally I said stay in my body and as I'm out there I can see my house, I can see the trees, I can see the streets, I can see everything, 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 all the way to the horizon. So I knew I was asked, because I knew, I'm not stupid at this point, I knew I was asked to traveling from him to me, from him to me. Because we, he was just in me, right, hooked up to my spirit and my soul. And I'm going back and forth. Now he's physical in a ship, but he spiritually came out spiritually broke me to come into me to do whatever now he's going back to his body and i'm whop, whop, back and forth to him right as we're traveling oh oh in and out in and out in and out and then that's done he goes away i wake up the next morning and i'm like i wake up the next morning and i don't even remember no i remember it i'm like oh fuck this guy, guy that guy and i remember as soon as i thought about it my heart was love. As soon as I woke up in the morning, I just felt, don't leave me here, don't leave me here. And love and compassion, don't leave me in this fucking planet because I had to go to school and fight and do all that shit. The fucking shit of the day, which is all shit. And then the ET, my heart just bleeded. Just fucking bleeded. Don't fucking take me with you. Jesus Christ, fucking take me out of that fucking hell. And all of a sudden, I'm laying there, and I got up, and my fucking, I remember I'm walking to the bathroom, and my heart's like, take me with you, take me with you. And then I looked in the mirror in the bathroom, and I was fucking, from that, to blind fucking rage and rape. I went from that instantly to blind rage and rape for that fucking alien violating me. It was just fucking rage. As soon as I looked at myself in the mirror, and I just wanted to punch the fucking walls, right? And I was fucking. And then my brother and my sister were all pounding on the door. Get in, in the bathroom. I gotta go. I'm like going to the fucking bathroom. And I had to walk to work. And I didn't want to see anybody. I was in that fucking state where you don't want to see anybody. You want to break your fucking neck and knock your fucking teeth out with a fucking hammer. Just and that's literally what you felt like. I wouldn't do it, and I never did. But goddamn, that's the fucking rage I had. And it was a fucking byproduct of that, that fucking rage rape feeling. And it was just 
Get away from me. That's like, I've been violated. Fuck off. I can't deal with your shit. That's what it felt like. Anyway. So I'll go find a tree. Sit down. Okay. A day goes by. All that day. And I calm down near the end of the day. And then. I get through that fucking day. And then the next day I wake up. And I'm like. And I'm like. I'm thinking, did that happen? Was that real? Of course that was real. Yeah, it was real. Next day. Was that fucking... That wasn't fucking... That was a fucking pipe dream. This is what I'm saying, right? So this... I'm at the third... Second day... Third day into this... Uh, after that experience... With, I was up all fucking night... Dealing with that fucking E.T. And... And... Uh, I'm watching... Twilight Zone... And before I go to bed... And I remember... On the third... Third night... I'm going, no, that's all, it was all fucking bullshit, it was all bullshit, all right, I'm like, no, it's all bullshit, man, that ain't fucking real, how could it be real, that ain't fucking real, that didn't fucking happen, it's all fucking, you fucking drank some fucking chemicals or something, and it fucked you up, you know, and I couldn't figure, I couldn't, and so that's my way of getting back into reality, and I told myself, yeah, fuck it, that's all bullshit, I can't fucking deal with that. I ain't even going there. Like, what the fuck? What am I supposed to do? I don't know nothing. I don't know. I, I know a little bit, but I don't know enough. Right? And I go, well, I thought I had that before. Yeah, but that was just bullshit, too. It's just a bad fucking recurring dream. You have lots of bad recurring dreams, don't you? So I'm right back in reality again, right? And I'm like, fuck, this ain't bullshit. It's bull so I laughed it off, turned off the TV, went lay down and go to bed. I fall asleep. And I'm in the backyard. At Indian Creek, across the road, across the field, Indian Creek, and I'm picking up the hockey ball. I pick up the hockey ball, and as soon as I pick up the hockey ball, the eye starts coming at me again. The eye in the sky. I pull up the hockey ball and get stung by a thorn. Okay, on a picker bush or a rose. And I get stung, I'm like, fuck. And then I start running with the hockey ball, because I'm not play fucking hockey, and these fucking balls are like eight fucking bucks a piece. And so you don't fucking lose your hockey ball. And so I got to fucking run home across this field. The eye in the sky is chasing me. And all of a sudden, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. And a fucking T-Rex is coming behind me. And somewhere along the line, I wake up from the footprints to the star chart to the fucking, you know, the fossilized footprints to the star chart. Watch my past video. I can't say it all every time because it's a recurring dream. Somewhere I wake up. And I'm, as soon as I wake up, boom, 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 tingles, waves, pictures, everything. Alien, my mic. Oh, fuck! Are you fucking kidding me? He's fucking real, and I'm like, fuck you, man! You ain't fucking gonna get me. I'm swearing, I'm cursing, I'm yelling, and he's fucking there. And basically, he said, and then as soon as I saw him, and all the shit hit me, and I got my shit oriented, and I knew he was coming back, and I knew why. Because I just dissed him off about an hour ago, laying, watching the fucking TVs, and I told myself, no, it's all fucking bullshit. Fuck it. And he came back right after that on the third night. Oh, you think I'm fucking bullshit? And basically, we had a standoff. I blocked. He fought. Finally, he got fed up. He came in, passed out, and it was a repeat of the night before. And I'm like, oh, hell no, right? I pass out. I wake up. He's going back to the ship. Almost the exact same fucking spot in the sky. I'm going back and forth to the ship. And I'm having a fucking heart attack. And then he leaves. I wake up the next morning and I'm having all the emotions of don't fucking leave me here to black and white. Oh, fucking crazy rage. And I'm like, and then I go by the tree, sit by the tree, calm the fuck down. The rest of the day gets on. I have my nightly fight with the fucking, fucking retard in the school that decides he wants to fight me. And uh, have my daily fight, go home, cry a little bit, start watching fucking TV to take my mind off the day, and basically pass out. Next day I wake up, repeat, and not a repeat with the ETs, but I'm repeating my day, and I go home, and I'm thinking, was that fucking real? Was that real? Two times in a fucking row that was happened. The next day goes by, and uh, I'm thinking, is that real? Was that real? You know? And I'm like, that's, that's, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So that night goes by. Nothing happened. The next day, by the end of the day, I'm watching TV. 
and I fucking joked. I joked it off again. I'm watching TV. I did the same thing. And it's all bullshit. This is a fucking crazy ass dream. I smoked too much pot or something, right? This is fucking nuts. This is absolutely fucking nuts. I don't know if I was smoking pot. I don't think I was at this point. I came a little a year later, a couple years later. But I wasn't smoke. I was smoking cigarettes. Maybe I can't remember what time I started getting into the drugs and alcohol and shit. Can't remember. But I know I wasn't into nothing. Then I'm watching TV and I brushed it off. I actually laughed at myself. I'm like, fuck, I can't fucking deal with this shit. And I'm like, none of it was fucking real. Fuck it. Fuck off. I'm fucking tired of it. That's what I told myself, right? So I go to bed. Fall asleep. Picking up the fucking hockey ball in the bushes. Big guy comes. Sting! I cut my fucking arm again. I run across the thing. The things, the eyes chasing me, and the eye, when it's hooked up to you and it's chasing you, it feels like you're a fucking rabbit, and it's going to fuck, and it's shooting you, and you're running through the woods panicking, and you're running through the woods panicking, and you're panicking, and the fucking great big fucking nasty fucking eye in the sky is shooting fucking laser, and you're fucking trying to run for your life, and you got no fucking weapons to fight back, you got nothing, and then you got a fucking T-Rex coming up behind you, fucking trying to take the snaps in the fucking air, trying to fucking bite your head off. I'm running across this goddamn field, and somewhere along the line, I'm looking at the things, and, the, and, the, and I follow the footprints, and I see the star chart. Oh, no, I see the 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 rock. I'll get into it again later. I see the writing on the rock. And I see the star chart or whatever. Somewhere along there, I wake up. Boom! And there he is. I'm back, motherfucker. So you still think I'm a fucking lie? And I'm like, holy shit. I'm like, okay, you win. I quit. I quit. I quit. You're real. You're fucking real. You're fucking so real. I, I'll never fucking doubt this shit again. And I told myself. And then I remembered. I was arguing with myself before I went to bed. I remembered. And I, and I was talking to myself. And I was talking to the alien. I go, if you're fucking real. If you're some fucking big shit fucking alien coming from the fucking cosmos in the middle of nowhere, if you're so fucking real, prove it to me tonight, you son of a bitch. Prove it to me tonight. I fucking dare you. If you don't show up, then fuck you. You're just a fucking, fucking something. Fucking, a fucking something. If you're a fucking alien from the fucking outer space and you think you're some big shit, why are you fucking picking on me all the fucking time? You ain't fucking real. It's a reoccurring dream. Fuck. You. And this is what I said to myself to the ET before I went to bed. But I wasn't talking to the ET. I was just talking fantasy, right? Because I had a fucking vent. So I'm just fucking yelling to the fucking wall. Basically. If you're so fucking real, then fucking come and get me, you son of a bitch. Come and get me tonight. I fall asleep, all happy, tired as shit. Wake up, bam, there he is, staring at my goddamn face. I'm like, okay, you're fucking real, you're real. And I remembered I just said that. Before I went to bed. And I'm like, holy fuck, are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? There he is. Oh, my fucking heart's pounding, waves, the tingles, my fucking shit is going fucking crazy. And I'm like, okay, all right. And I remembered what I said. And basically, he put it back in my head saying, do you remember what you just said fucking four hours ago? It's three o'clock in the morning. You went to bed at 11, and this is what you said before you went to bed. Do you remember what you said? Now, am I a fucking fam? Am I a fucking fragment or a fucking dream? Am I a fucking dream? Basically, that's what he's saying to me. He's staring at my goddamn face. He says, you think I'm fucking a fucking fake fantasy? Just because you don't know doesn't mean I don't fucking exist. And he's in my face, and he goes, are you fucking ready? And I'm like, fucking... Do whatever you gotta do. I don't fucking care anymore. I was going nuts. I'm like, you're fucking real. Okay, leave me alone. Go away. And I'll never do I go, there's a fucking, fucking mean motherfucker next door that kills everything that fucking walks. And he kicked my dog. So you go over there and kill that fucker for me. Would you do that? Kill anybody but me. I don't give a fuck. I go, why you gotta fucking bother me? Why the fuck are you even here? How the fuck do you even know I am existence? How the fuck do you know all this shit? And I'm thinking, you're real, you're real, you're real. I'm never fucking questioning it again. Now, fuck off, go away. You know, this is what I'm saying to the guy. And finally he goes, and he fucking came right up, and I'm pushing back, I'm fighting. I still fight. I don't fucking know anything else to do. I fight. And I'm fighting, I'm blocking, and he just said, 
You'll fucking remember. Smoosh! And he fucking came right in me, broke me, and I passed out. Woke up. Same goddamn things happened again. I'm pa I'm passing from myself to the ET in the ship. The whole time seeing everything. And finally, after it was all over, same fucking thing happened. Love. Violence, but I understood a little more. And, uh... Then I go sit by the tree, calm the fuck down. For the day, go to school. And, you know, you're supposed to be. So I had like a week and a half of all these experiences. You know what? I didn't learn a goddamn thing in school. Didn't do a fucking thing. Sat there going, <laughs> looking at the breasts across from my goddamn, the next terror. That's all I dreamt about is sex and the aliens. Didn't give a fuck about the school. I couldn't even, how the fuck are you supposed to concentrate when that's going on? So I, that's all I did. I worried about the fight. I dreamt, fantasized about her boobs, having sex with her, whoever the girl was at the time. There was always a girl in the class that was hot. And that's all you dreamt about. And aliens. Yep. So I failed. And I'm the fucking loser. And I'm the fucking retard. Because I failed school. So all you psychologists. And all you fucking doctorate fucking education motherfuckers. Out there in the fucking world. Fuck you. Alright. Fuck yourself. All of y'all. I'm fucking sick and tired. For 50 fucking years I had to listen to your fucking bullshit. Sorry everyone. I'm venting. I'm mad. I had to go through fucking hell. And this is my fucking chance to tell them to fuck off. Because they don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Later. <laughs>